Hi, so for today, we are going to talk about the third derivative calculator technique. And this is still a part of our study all about the calculator techniques in mathematics for engineering board exam. So for this um, topic, we are going to familiarize ourselves with the formula for the third derivative. Note that this formula is actually in an approximation only. So uh, in in the formula for the third for the third derivative approximate formula, we have the f triple prime of x equals f prime of a value in terms of third x or x sub three minus f prime of f sub f of x sub two. Uh, another value of x, second value of x, minus or divided by delta x, minus f prime of f of x sub 2, minus f prime of x sub 1, which is another value of, of x, over delta x, and divided by delta x. So the delta x here, we chose it to be 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. So choose that as your delta x, 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. So in calculator, we are going to write this following formula. So upon getting the f prime of f x x sub 3, we store that value in C. And f prime of x sub 2 for B, f prime of x sub 1 for A. So this is the same thing that we are doing in second derivative and first derivative. We're in, in calculator, we actually get the derivative of a certain function with an x having a value of 0 0.1. In this case, our x sub 1 would be 0 0.1. Our x sub 2 would be 0 0.1 plus 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. And our x sub 3 would be 0 0.1 plus 2 times 10 raised to negative 5. So that the delta x is still 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. So how do we do that? Okay, so in order for us to understand this, we have several examples. So let's try number one. Okay, so find the y triple prime of y equals x ln of x. So the first thing that we are going to do is we have shift. We are going to calculate the derivative of x ln of x with x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3. So meaning three values of x. So we have x, ln of x, okay? And then we have 0 0.1. Calculate the derivative, first derivative of this at x 0 0.1. So we have 1, negative 1, point, uh, 3, 0, 2, 5, and so on. We store it in uh, variable a. Say, shift store a, okay? And then, going back to our replay button, so we're going to add, to this x plus 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. So as if we are adding a very small number. Okay. So again, get uh, the derivative, the value. So we have shift, store store it to b. That would be our x sub 2. Okay? f of x sub 2. And now, again, pressing the replay button again. So we go now to f of f prime of x sub 3. So this would become 2. 0 0.1 plus 2 times 10 raised to negative 5. So again, get it. So shift store C. Now the formula, we will be using it. So we, we said that that should be alpha C minus alpha B all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. And then we have minus alpha B minus Oops, we have alpha b minus alpha a all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. And all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. So whatever value we get here, we will be comparing it in the choices. So negative 100.0041. So we can store that to d, okay, so that we can remember it. So let's go now to the choices. So what are we going to do with the choices? For letter A, we have 1 all over x. So we're going to calculate a value of x, 0 0.1. Okay? The same as the 0 0.1 that we use for our f prime of x sub 1. So we have 10. Okay, It's not the correct answer. Let's try letter C. First, 
Letter C, we solve with x 0.1. It's not even close to negative 100. And of course, if we try x, solve it, of course, it's not even close to negative 100. So let's try B. So we have x squared, negative 1 all over x squared. So it's negative 100, which is approximately equal to the stored value in D that we have got a while ago. Take note that what we have computed a while ago has some decimals because this is only an approximation. So if we divide the answer by the D, okay, the, st the shift stored a D, value of D, so we got an answer that is approximately equal to 1. So there is a discrepancy. It's because it is an approximation. And therefore, we can conclude that letter B should be our final answer. Okay, so for problem number two, I know this is very easy. Okay, so this is only power rule, but, but let's just um, let's just assume that you forgot on how to differentiate. Okay, even the even the basic differentiation of power rule. So you have to use your calculator techniques. So again, we will input this eight alpha x raised to four a plus five alpha x cubed minus alpha x squared plus 7. So we input again value of x as 0 0.1. We store it in A. Replay again. 0 0.1, we add 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. That becomes, we have to shift store it in B. And upon pressing the replay button again, we will be replacing 0 0.1 plus 2 times 10 raised to negative 5. So this would be our shift store value for C. And again, apply the formula. So I have C minus alpha B all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 minus we have alpha B minus alpha A all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 and we have 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 also. So the answer is this, 49.2, we shift store it in D. Uh, it's now time to go to the choices, okay? Of course, if that is a third derivative, so what will happen? So we will be having a value of x, we know that this would be only x. So let's try letter C, for example. Okay, so we have letter C, 192 alpha x plus 30 with the value of x, again, 0 0.1, so it should be 49.2. So we have answer divided by the stored value that we have computed for the third derivative in D, it should equal to 1. So the answer for this problem should be letter C, based on our calculator technique. For problem number 3, now, here in this problem, we have already the value of x equals 1. So, find the third derivative of y equals 2x plus 3 quantity of 4x plus 2 raised to cube when x equals 1. So, what will happen here is that since we, have, we are given a value of x upon differentiating the function, so we will be using 1 instead of 0 0.1. So, we have... To get the derivative of that, okay, we have 2 alpha x plus 3 quantity 4 alpha x plus 2, then quantity, then raised to 3, okay? Then when x equals 1, okay? So that would be our value for A, okay? So... And again, for f prime of x sub 2, we have to add 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 here. That becomes the value of b. And last but not the least, we have to get the value of f prime x sub 3. So we have shift store to c. And then apply again the same formula that we have been applying a while ago. So, our delta x is still 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. Of course, the, the initial value change from 0 0.1 to 1. It's because the problem is asking the 
uh, value for the third derivative of the function when x equals 1. So we, we change it into 1. So we have alpha b minus alpha a all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. So 1, 1, 5, 2. That would be our answer. And no need to store it because the calculator actually uh, points us or directs us to the correct answer, which is letter B. Okay? That is our correct answer. Letter B. So for number 4, Let's try to find the y triple prime of y equals e raised to negative 5x plus 8 ln of 2x raised to 4. So again, the same uh, process that we are going to do, we're going to it put the function in our calculator, alpha e, and then we have raised to negative 5 alpha x plus 8 ln of 2 alpha x raised to 4. So we have 0 0.1 as our value of x since we don't have any initial values for x. So we have this uh, uh, value. Uh, let me just correct this. This should be 2x raised to 4. Okay? So not raised to 4 outside. So the 0 0.1 would be 316.96. So we store that in our A. And then we add 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 here. So that is shift store B for the value of B. And then again, we are going to change this into 2. So we have shift store C. And then applying the formula, so we have C minus B all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. And then we have minus alpha B minus B. Alpha A all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. So the answer, we store it into D. Okay? So let's try letter D first up to DCBA for our multiple choice. So we have negative 1, 2, 5. Uh, alpha E raised to negative 5X. Again, we are now checking what is the correct. Uh, choice for our third derivative here. So that's letter D. So we solve it using 0 0.1. This is the answer. So we divide the answer divided by the stored value for D, which is the third derivative, approximate third derivative. So that's 1.00239461. That is approximately equal to 1. So we need not to go through any other choices because we know that this should be the answer for this problem. So the answer would be letter D. Okay? So let's try number 5. Okay? So we have this problem and what are we going to do is same old process so we are going to solve for the third derivative of this so same old process so you have to input the function in our deriv differentiation uh mode in our calculator so we have uh fifth root fifth root of the x cube alpha x cube then we have minus one all over eight alpha x squared alpha x squared then we have minus square root of x so we have 0 0.1 as our initial value so we store that into a make sure you are in region mode okay so then we have 1 0 0.1 plus 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 for value of our b and click the replay button again and then replace this by 2 times 10 raised to negative 5 so we have value for C. So we have the formula C minus alpha B all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 minus we have alpha B minus alpha A all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5 
all over 1 times 10 raised to negative 5. So this is our answer for the third derivative, approximate answer. So we store that into D. And then we go to the choices. So for letter A, we have 1, 6, 8 all over 1, 2, 5. Then we have alpha x raised to negative, uh, let's say, 12 all over 5. Plus 3 alpha x. And then we have raised to negative 5. And then we have minus 3 all over 8. And then we have alpha x raised to negative 5 halves. Negative 5 halves. Calculate using the value of 0 0.1. Then we have an answer. Then we divide it by D to see if it is approximately equal to 1. So it's approximately equal to 1. Then therefore, we need not to go through the other choices because that would be the final answer. Okay? So for number 6, uh, this is your take-home problem. So to make sure that you are uh, getting what I'm trying to say here, the answer here should be letter C. So again, so thank you so much for listening. Again, this is Injury Abad. I hope you learned something in finding the third derivative of a function using the calculator techniques. Thank you so much. Again, God bless.